trabajo para distinguir de la revolución a la revolución, el compacto está en la otra de Mela, so que fixe, que fixe, que se salte, que está muy simple. Pero yo creo que, básicamente, la revolución a la revolución, en 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 la revolución a la revolución, We have just seen, I think, as uh, President of Saudi Arabia, in terms of the politics, the zero stability in South Africa, uh, we, 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 the ruling party is continuing uh, with the mandate that was given since 1994, so there's a stability in terms of the, uh, the political arena. Of course, also, South Africa has uh, one of the world-class infrastructure. We have one of the uh, South financial and legal system. We are the fourth largest uh, source of food. Globally. We have a three quarter of the global platinum reserve. We also have a large deposit of uranium, coal, and other mineral resources. Interestingly, South Africa is, is indeed um, uh, situated in the continent where seven out of ten fastest growing economies are in Africa. So it's good to basically associate yourself with those uh, economies because we are able to see the future uh, in terms of when you are doing your long term planning. Uh, and then also, South Africa remains uh, the gateway to Africa, and this was also reaffirmed uh, during the BRICS summit which we hosted last year in South Africa. We are saying to you, if you come to South Africa, for example, you will be able to access larger markets, uh, such, for example, your SATEC FTA, uh, you have uh, SATEC EUTCH, you have uh, SATCO uh, Microsoft ETA, you also have uh, SATCO EFTA. Currently, we are in the process of negotiating and start of India to negotiate. And there are opportunities also um, through what we call the ABOA, which is the US uh, Africa Program of Trade, which is now it's, it's, it's another opportunity, for example, to when you are in South Africa, you are able to export to the US using the, the under the ABOA. We also have an excellent transport and logistical infrastructure. Uh, very favorable uh, source of green business. Quite interesting is that we have a lot of investment incentives to so let's say abstract financing. This figure now will basically, I mean this uh, <coughs> slide, basically give you a sense. Uh, I think I've already spoken about the opportunities uh, in future uh, for accessing the, the cyber market. If you are in South Africa, um, you will be able to access all these markets. Because uh, we have an FTA with this market, we call this, uh, we're talking about plus minus 200 million. <coughs> but of course, also in the future, we are in the process of negotiating for an FTA with SABEC and for NASA and EAC, which will give us a market of about 7 million uh, uh, population, which is a large market. I've already spoken about this trade uh, agreement that are currently in place. Okay, quite interesting is that um, when we look at uh, Africa today, as well as Africa in the next 20 years, 10 to 15 years, <coughs> collectively uh, the GDP of, uh, of Africa has about 1.6 trillion, but in 2020 we are looking at about 2.6 trillion. The combined uh, consumer spending is about uh, 860 billion US dollars. We are looking at uh, 1.4 trillion in 2020. The number of uh, uh, mobile subscribers uh, is expected to increase from 316 million to about 1.1 trillion. There are 52 number of African cities which have uh, more than 1 billion population, uh, and that number is expected to increase to about 128 million by 2020. So basically, this gives you a sense in terms of where South Africa is and where Africa is going to be uh, in the next thing. So I'm giving you this information so that you are able to uh, make a connection that if you are in South Africa, this is what uh, is expected in Africa because then uh, you will want to expand your business in Africa. So just give you a sense uh, if, if, if you are in South Africa and you will be able to access this market. Of course, also, uh, in terms of the cost of doing business in South Africa, energy cost still remains uh, the lowest in South Africa. 
the unit, the unit labor costs uh, are lower than those of the major market. We have seen the, um, the rise in the labor costs in, in, in China, uh, India as well, and other regions. Uh, uh, so our case has been that uh, South Africa's labor costs have been lower in this. And also in terms of the state uh, base, uh, this is one of the biggest uh, social countries to give for, for the of the foreigners. 